Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking on a very intriguing topic, the shell scripting. So without any further ado, let's get started. So basically, we need to ask ourselves what is a shell script? A shell script is simply a program written for a software environment that automates the execution of tasks, which could alternatively be executed one after another All right so you can see shell script as an executable which can self-execute right it runs like an application where you simply just need to run a command for it to execute All right there are three things to do to write and execute a shell script the first thing you need to do in order to write a shell script is one you need to write a script yes you need to write a script and secondly you need to set permission to a script, right? This permission here simply grants the, the script you've written an executable right. Remember we said earlier that scripts are programs that automate the execution of the task. So let's say, for instance, we want to determine the current directory that we are on. We are simply going to write a shell script that will help us print our working directory. That way, we want to make that script executable so that the command um, to print our working directory can function right so the third thing to do when you're writing a shell script is to simply execute the script so after you've written the script you've set the script permission you need to execute the script the script execution is to simply run the script that you've written the script that you've simply granted the permission on okay so let's look at how to write a script. To write a script, the first line of our shell script must contain the pound exclamation mark forward slash bin forward slash bash. This is popularly called the Shaban um, header. All right? This tells the operating system which interpreter to use. All right? So this simply means that all your shell script you're going to write or you're going to be writing should begin the first line should contain the shaban header okay what is a shell permission right the shell permission here simply grants a file a right to be executed read only or write only or all three permission by the user groups or others right let's say for instance you have a folder or a directory name public right these are the permission for this directory right the d here simply means that this is a directory right and this directory has the read the write and the executable permission from the user right which can also be called the owner right then for the groups it has the read permission but it doesn't have the write permission but it has the executable permission. All right. Others, it has the read permission. It doesn't have the write permission, but it has the ex executable permission. This simply means that this public directory can be read, write, and executed by the user. It can be read and executed by, by the group of users. And also, it can be read and executed by others. All right coming down to this readme right this this hyphen simply means that this readme is just a file all right so this file simply has a read and executable permission by the user all right it has a read and executable permission by the groups and it has just a read permission for others okay so the shell permission has the following value all right so the r here the r anyway you see r here simply has a value four all right the w which is for write simply has a value two and the x here which is for execute simply has a value one so if you sum all three together you have a total of seven so if if you're changing the permission and you grant a user the permission of seven it simply means that you're granting the user the permission to read write 
and execute that file all right so how do you how do you set this permission right to make to make your file executable you simply use the command ch mode which means change mode all right for example if you use the command ch mode 700 and the name of the file you're simply trying to see that you want to grant the file the permission for the user to be able to read write and execute the file and then the others and the group to have no access to either read write or execute the file alternatively if you say ch mode u plus x the file name this simply means that you're granting the user the right to execute this file all right the u here simply means user and the x here simply means execute all right the same is true if you want to remove the executable rights from the user you simply replace this plus sign with a minus sign all right how do we execute the shell script shell script are simply executed by using the command period forward slash and the name of the scripts we've written let's jump into our command line and try this out for this first example we are going to be writing a script that will simply print the absolute path of our current working directory right ideally to print the absolute path of our current working directory we simply use the pwd so we want to write a script to carry out this um command for us okay so we are simply going to use vi and let's call the file let's say pwd right and then we add the shabang sign right and then once you have this your your script is set you've written the first rule which is to write a script and then the second rule is to simply just tell what you want the script to do in this case i simply want the script to print my working directory all right and then i'll save it all right after saving it i can hit ls i can see that i have a pwd um, file here but now i want to check the permission of this pwd all right so i simply list in long format if if you don't understand what the pwd means the ls or the hyphen l please check out the first um, video in this playlist all right the show navigation video right so for the pwd right you can see that for the user it simply has a read read and write permission there's no executable permission and every other person has only read permission so we want to grant this pwd file an executable permission so that it can become a script fully right so to do that simply use the chmod command and then simply say u plus x all right this simply means user user execute all right you're simply granting the user the executable rights to the file pwd all right so this is the file name whatever name you give to your file that's what's going to come there all right so once i hit enter and i hit ls hyphen l again you can see that now the user has an executable right here and now the color of the file has changed from white to green i can go ahead and run this command using the period forward slash and the name of the file right so once i hit enter i now have this file here all right let's go ahead and write a script that will list all the files in the current working directory all right simply call the file list and then i use the shabang sign right being bash and then i want to list all the file in a long format all right so once we run this script save and i quit so i'm simply going to grant the script an executable right remember so i simply use the ch mode this time i want to use the the digit all right all right so seven here simply means i'm granting the user the read write and executable permission remember we said that the r is four and the w 
is 2 and the x is 1. So if you're giving the user 7, it simply means you're granting the user both the read, write, and the executable permission. And then the groups, I'm granting them no access to reading the file. They can't write on the file. They can't even execute the file. The same is true for all other guest users, right? And then I'm doing this. I'm granting this executable to the file list. Once I hit enter, I can see that the list file is currently in green, all right? So let me erase this. Then I simply run the list command. The, I'll simply run the list executable or the list script I just wrote, all right? So once I hit enter, it should list all the files in a long format, all right? This simply means that this Python here is a directory from the D. The snap here is a directory and the hyphens are basically files, all right? So where you have X, it simply means they are executables, all right? Okay, so... Um, Let's, let's look at another example. Let's write another script that prints the effective username of the current user, right? So you can see username, right? And then in bash, right? Um, the code or the command to, to print the effective username of the current user is simply who am I? All right so once once you do that and you grant it an executable permission right and then you run the file the script you just wrote you can see that i am the root user okay, let's write a script that prints an empty file called hello in this case we are simply going to use the vi right and then the shabang again and then um, since we are printing an since we are creating an empty file, we will be using the touch command. Hello. So the next rule is to to grant the file an execution right. All right. So use Apollo's X and then hell. Right. So once we run that, right. Once we run hell, we should automatically have a file called hello. Right. So so that is basically how. The shell script works. We are simply going to write a script that adds execution permission to the owner of the hello file. To do that, we are simply going to write a file called exec hello. Right? And then we'll add our shabang sign up here. And then we use the chmod command to give the owner the executable right to the file hello. We save and then we grant the exec hello file the execution permission, all right? And then before we run the file, let's look at the properties of hello. You can see that hello only has the read and write execution for the owner and a read permission for others and the write permission for a read permission for the group and the write permission for others, all right? So when I run the exec hello, when we go back to look at hello again, you can see that now there is execution permission for for the owner or the user, right? So that's basically how to write a shell script that grants the user or the owner an executable permission, right? Let's go ahead and write a script that grants the user, the group, and others the execution right to the file hello. So we can simply modify the exec hello file again. And then this time we want to grant the group and orders the execution permission to the file hello, right? So when I run exec hello, and then we check the properties of hello file again, you can see now that others can execute this file. The groups can execute this file. And also the owner can as well execute the file hello. So finally, we are going to write a script that will carry out three tasks. First, the script is going to create an empty directory. Second, that same script is going to create an empty file. And then finally, the script is going to move the empty file into the directory it created. 
right? So let's get to work. So we we'll use the VI for this, and then we just call the file solid move, right? And then we include the, the Shaban header. And then remember, we said the first thing we want the file to do is to to create a directory and call the directory directory, right? Or for simplicity's sake, let's call it folder. Okay, and then script is also going to create an empty file called empty, right? And then it's simply going to move the empty file to to the folder folder we just created, right? So after writing um your scripts, you save and then you grant it an executable right, right? That is an executable right, and then you simply run the script, right? Simply run the script, and then once that is done, you can see now that we have the folder, all right? So let's navigate into folder to see if the file we created is inside folder, all right? Yes, we have the file here. So guys, if you found this insightful, please do well to like subscribe and hit the notification button so that as subsequent as we post videos you'll be the first to be notified thank you for watching